Hello, this is Pixel Freak, and today I'm taking a look at Polara. Now, this game's been out on both iOS and Android for quite some time now. iOS has been out since at least January. Android, I'm not so sure, but I know it's been out for a decent amount of time. Now, this is an infinite runner, except for it's not actually infinite. It is a runner game, I guess, and it's stage-based. Uh, the gameplay actually uh, accumulates into something very much like Cannibal meets Ikaruga. Now, Ikaruga, if you're familiar with shoot 'em up games, is a spaceship game where you can change the polarity of your spacecraft to avoid certain bullets uh, and then reverse for the other bullets. You get a, a two-colored system, and that's what you have here in Polara. You can either wear the red version of the suit or the, or the blue one. You can flip them back and forth, and that allows you to dodge either the red or the blue bullets. Now this actually introduces a very interesting game mechanic because the game can throw all kinds of different obstacles at you that only respond to either your blue form or your red form as you're running, which kind of makes it almost not only a runner game, but a puzzle game as well. That's a pretty cool innovative angle to take within the runner genre. At the menu of the game, you are prompted with two different gameplay options. You have the story mode, which breaks the game into different chapters that have checkpoints, and there's this whole cutscene of illustrated art that goes on. Um, and then there's also the extra gameplay modes, which when you start only has the infinite running portion of the game, where you just run, see how many meters you can go, much like Cannibal, and then when you die, you're done. Now, if you meet certain requirements within the modes that are unlocked in the very beginning of the game, you can actually unlock other modes. Most of those requirements actually boil down to just going back into the old levels that you've already completed and finishing some new objectives. For instance, there is some collectibles where you have to go and collect all the letters to spell Polara. There's also a secret item that you can get in each level. When you get enough of those, the extra levels or the extra modes of play will open up in the other modes section. Now those other modes uh, include harder, infinite running, and also some special modes like gravity mode. I haven't unlocked all of them, but there's about five or six of them, so it's worth your time to go through and play them just to unlock everything. It's a pretty cool addition to the game. For complaints, I really don't have much to say. There is the sprite of the primary protagonist where it's a little bit less quality than you would see in the rest of the game. The bosses look really good and all the little lasers and the little scenery images all look fairly well polished. However, something felt a little bit rigid about the protagonist and I wish they would have thrown it back and maybe done a couple different renditions. I'm sure they would have come up with something a little bit better. Also, the difficulty is a little bit steep in the beginning, and that's because your brain doesn't really want to do what Polara wants you to do. This whole uh, bi-colored uh, gameplay mechanic is very difficult to get used to, and I can see some players giving up a little bit too early before they really get into the meat of the game. Overall, this has to be one of the funnest runners that I have played thus far. It takes everything the genre has done up to date and then adds this new gameplay mechanic that is almost an interesting puzzle piece. It does everything right so far and then adds to it. For that reason, I think Polara is a must have buy for anybody that has enjoyed a runner game in the past. All that is the reason I'm giving Polara 90 pixels out of 100. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, this has been Pixel Freaks.